Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day today. I want to go into a little bit more in depth of why I believe Theta is huge and why I think you guys should be possibly running a node. Um, guys, this is an investment advice, but if you guys own the Theta token right now, and you probably do because you're watching this video, and if you are holding it on a uh, exchange and you have never self-custodied any of your tokens, this is the easiest thing you can do okay so I want to show you a couple things uh, before I do that um, I want to explain why I think uh, running a node is so big of a deal um, all right first off your tokens are just sitting on an exchange and you are hoping that they go up in value that is it you're stuck all right so you're holding on to them long term maybe some of you guys see the the absolute value in theta and what they're doing with this video on demand and so much more with their smart contracts they have their own um, main net now they're not uh, uh, you know at being you know essentially handcuffed by the ethereum network with its high fee transaction fees um, it's 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 an awesome token right and uh, so if you have them on an exchange, you guys need to look into download your wallet. And this is, it's literally this simple. Go to thetatoken.org, click on the wallet, and they have two versions of the wallet. They have a mobile wallet, and they have a, um, a desktop wallet. And this is just giving you an example to unlock a wallet. Um, if you don't have a wallet, you can create a wallet, but it shows right here. You, do, you can do your key store, mnemonic, private keys, or your hardware and what they do is you hold your own private keys okay so this is just like owning a ledger or a treasure device where you are able to well you have cold storage and then you have this storage where you're actually pulling them you have self custody you have control of your private keys remember a side note don't ever 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 give anyone your private keys if someone is asking and they show up with a website like this that says they and it looks all just like this I don't care who you think they are if they're asking for your private keys your mnemonic your um, any any anything like that you it's it's not them okay do not do it now um, you go down and you uh, download your wallet now guys I've been running a guardian node ever since the first beta uh, a group was picked and I have been really fortunate to, to to be a part of it I learned a lot uh, before that I was mining so it wasn't anything new to me but a couple things you want to know about this so you, you you store you get your wallet going you put your coins in your wallet now you go hey I want to be a part of this I want to make some yield off of my uh, theta tokens now the yield is gonna be paid out in what's called T fuel I'm sure you guys know what that is um, so you come over to uh, let's see here this should have been on the front page. I totally am. Look at, all right, here we go. Go under network. Live network stats shows the three different types of nodes they have. An edge node, guardian node, and enterprise validator node. First off, every single one of these have different requirements for both um, tokens held by you to be able to stake, the amount of tokens staked, and then also hardware requirements. So what I suggest doing is a guardian node. It sits right in between, and whereas when I first started, it took 100,000 uh, tokens to open up a guardian node, now it's all the way down to 1,000. They uh, had it for 10,000 for a while. Now they're gonna be at 1,000. Now, why I think it's important that if you're gonna be holding theta to do it now rather than in the future, because if you're holding out thinking that they're gonna lower it to 500, or let's say like in Ethereum's, um, uh, uh, position it's gonna be uh, 13 you know 32 F to run a node if you're thinking that guardian nodes for um, theta are gonna get down to 32 I can guarantee you this the only way that's gonna happen is if the price rises dramatically and that's why they've been lowering it okay for not only that reason but um, they also want more nodes out there to uphold the system and it makes the system that much more rock-solid you want not only a geographical um, diversity because of geographical uh, issues like earthquakes, tsunamis, electrical issues, things like that, uh, internet blackouts. But you also want uh, geopolitical threats uh, being handled. So you want, you know, because hey guys, the honest truth is that uh, governments all around the world are trying to stop 
or handcuff a lot of these companies. So you want that as well. So this is another reason why I think you're going to see companies like uh, Google, like Amazon, and like YouTube start to use the Theta network at first as a um, addition to their already built structure but as as it goes gets bigger i think you're just going to swap more over and you won't even know you're using aws but really in the background it's theta that's upholding your uh, cloud infrastructure that you're paying aws for and they're just crushing it because they're paying such little fees on theta network anyway so let's talk about this uh, guardian node so you go down here it is literally this easy let's say you've got your wallet your uh your either web wallet, your, or your desktop wallet, or your mobile wallet. You click the download for Windows. It's gonna ask you where you want uh, the download to happen, where you want it to store. You click that and it's gonna walk you right through the entire process. And the only thing they need, um, besides a certain level of hardware requirements, and um, the hardware requirements are on the website, you guys can look it up. But really, if you think about it, if you have a, a, a pretty new, um, within a couple of years old uh, gaming rig, you're gonna be uh, just fine. It's really looking at your RAM and how many uh, cores your processor has and uh, your internet connection. And uh, pretty much, it, it's pretty pretty liberal as far as the requirements. Now, um, obviously, the more you have staked, the more uh, tokens you make and the uh, the better your equipment is, the more tokens you're going to make because it's it's going to be able to do more um, work in the system. Now, if you guys are um, concerned with electricity costs or your your a computer heating up your house and you having to run around uh, naked all day because it's too darn hot in your house, you have to worry about that because this is not like mining. Your computer is not just going crazy and screaming loud because it's doing all of these uh, computations. It's um, actually quite quiet. You can run your computer normally. You have um, full access the way the code's written that if you need bandwidth right away, it uses your excess bandwidth. So it throttles based on what you're doing with your computer. And you're not paying any extra electricity other, um, outside of just having your computer running normally. Uh, for you guys out there that have uh, companies, you own a business and uh, you have a computer that can run this, you're literally able to write off all the electricity anyway and you already have the computer there and you could still use it for other functions. It's great, it just runs in the background. Um, another thing that I wanna bring up as far as, let's go Economic Ninja style, is if you're just sitting there holding these assets, hoping that they go up, you could be making this yield right now and even if it's let's say three or four percent a year you're making on your money first off that's more than you're making in the bank and secondly every month and a half I go look at my uh, I mean it's nice because mine's on my mo mobile so anywhere I am I can just see what gets deposited every day into my account or every few days but um, uh, every once in a while I'll just take those and cash them in for Bitcoin and then I go put that Bitcoin I pretend like I don't even have it and I go stash it away and you watch in a couple of years, I'll do a video on what my Theta node has made me. Because not only is it increase, you know, it's every day putting out those uh, T fuel, but I'm diversifying it into Bitcoin as well. And I'm going to run that Bitcoin up to a quarter of a million dollars, uh, you know, as far as per Bitcoin. So anyway, hope this answered some question, guys. Um, you know, the video on demand is so massive. Uh, Theta has absolutely blown away uh, the competition without them even knowing it right now. You are literally watching. I, I believe that Theta token, as compared to um, Amazon Web Services and YouTube, is akin to uh, Netflix coming out and Blockbuster and Hollywood Video laughing at them going, no one will ever pay for a subscription. We're going to rent videos. We're going to keep renting videos. And you all know what happened with that. So I believe that you have literally already seen the explosion, uh, actually the implosion of uh, uh, cloud infrastructure right now as it's, uh, as it's sitting right now. They are going to have to adapt. And Theta is already running with massive partnerships. If you guys like this video and you want to hear more, please subscribe. I like to put just common sense economics uh, wisdom into all of these uh, different investments. This isn't investment advice, but I have been an investor for 20 years in uh, everything from oil stocks, commodities, to uh, uh, also uh, currencies and cryptocurrencies. I've been in the space for, uh, was it now, four years. So it's been a great run. Uh, as a matter of fact, crypto is my smallest investment of my lifetime and has made me the greatest uh, increase in my life. So 
There's a lot still to be done in crypto, and there's a lot of money still to be made. With that, guys, I'm out of here. Have a great night.